fishing can be really challenging at times and especially this week because of the youtube channel i don't always want to you know catch the same species and the same thing do the same thing all the time and i want to keep it interesting for you guys let me get this camera a little bit done and i want to show you different styles of fishing and catch different species and, and yes i'm really uncomfortable yeah and just want to sit down i'm gonna get this thing down so i want to show you guys different species different facets and i'm just keep it entertaining and um, keep it real obviously so this week was really challenging and try to catch a cob so i'm gonna i don't know how i'm gonna put this whole video together but i went fishing for a cob and all that we caught was a couple of small bronzies and uh, you know, we really battled to find a cob couldn't get one and i'm gonna roll a little bit of that footage how's it guys we're gonna give it another go for a cob today um, see it doesn't look too bad the formation doesn't look too bad for a cob talk around a little bit of the conditions that we have today we we had about three days in southeast uh, quite a strong southeast two days ago and then a little northeast yesterday pushing the swell a little bit down and um, it flattened out quite a lot today but the problem is they predicted a southwest wind today which is absolutely perfect after the conditions that we had or the peak conditions and then the first day southwest it is the best day to fish in but it is still swinging and it is that this stage the wind is coming from the south and on our coast on our coastline in the garden in the south wind is yeah, it's a horrible wind um, fish doesn't like it um, not even a dog likes to bite in it but it's still gonna swing over to the southwest i'm hoping that it does unfortunately it's still on the south so yeah we'll just have to make the best of it go ahead <laughs> Easy. It's Stefan through a live melon while I was still talking to you guys. And, uh, it's got an inquiry there. I don't know if it's a small bronzy that's trying to eat the live mullet or is it a oh, oh, yeah, okay. It's like a small bronzy, I'd say. Okay, bronzy, take it off, man. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, it's not a man. Blackfoot. <laughs> <laughs> like the bronzes are going to be a fish today. better quality or a cob because I don't think there's a chance for a cob to get to your bait because these things are all over on the bank behind the bank in front of the bank all over the place first bank second bank we call it they there so there's a story behind the story how we got to do what we're doing now um, yeah it was a whole build up um, I wanted to make a video on spinning in estuaries for you guys again because I know there's a lot of guys that like it and I enjoy it as well tried to fish for cob couldn't get a cob saw a lot of grunter styling but I did not want to touch the surface lure and just climbing here through the bushes it's quite a steep hill and um, it falls under Ooh. 
exciting time. <laughs> but uh, the mission today is to catch a fish on some lures in the estuary. Ooh, damn it, that was close. But, um, sure. Okay, I'm through. Um, okay, the mission is just not a fish, the mission is a cob. A cob on a and lure either a paddle tail or a hard stick bait or anything I haven't caught a cob in this estuary for years and then the conditions doesn't look too bad and um, the river is coming down slightly the color is good the tide is good we've got a little bit of a push there's a deep hole here next to the bank and um, oh, we'll be lucky to catch a cob and then after that, um, I'm going to hit the prawn flats um, on the high tide with the turn of the tide on the outgoing tide. See if I can't catch a grunter on a surface lure. Or maybe even a cob on a surface lure. That will be amazing. But yeah, Whew. that wheel is quite steep. You see there's a couple of mullets. And then, yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Now, the spot where we're fishing, it makes like a point running out and the water pushes by and it creates an eddy. And you'll remember in one of my videos, I explained how an eddy works and that's a place where the fish feeds. So hopefully we can get a copy of this morning. That'll be too lacquer. Okay, let's get a line in the water and try and catch it. fish guys we're throwing a whole variety of lures and uh, haven't had a strike yet but yeah for now uh, um, I'm home bucking really hard in good conditions ah, but anyway let's go I don't know what's the story with these things. Um, you know, they're tailing all over the place. I can see them boil. But they just don't want to eat my lure. Um, maybe the maybe they wait for the tide to start to drop because usually the dropping tide is is the the better tide. But um, there should have been a rise or a boil or anything on my lure if they showed. It if they were interested in the lure, but they're not showing any interest in the lure so I think I'm gonna head to one more spot that I'm going to try if I don't get a fish in that spot I'm gonna call it a day yeah, call it a day I think so but I'm back here today already got one granter and a star met hierdie klein ultralaat hy is groter as wat ek gedink het ja first little granter on the mud prawn there's a circle perfectly in the corner so we're back here today and I brought Zandra with me and the idea is to target these grunters on um, prawn on the drift bait prawn I'm gonna throw a little bit more top, top waters as well while Zandra is throwing the drift, prawn on the drift baits so hopefully we can catch a couple of grunters and um, looks very promising the tide is still pushing and uh, I'm gonna see if I can't catch one on the surface lure 
almost got me in the ear. <laughs> Throw another prawn while I'm waiting for the, the rain to settle. Hopefully, it's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, uh, feels like a better one. Well, they're active today. Eh? They don't want to eat. Oh, they're de they definitely here. And um, they just don't want to eat the the top water and um, it's quite lucky on this light tackle that I'm fishing I'm fishing Infinity Ultra Light and then a little Shimano Nexa 1000 with 8 pound braid and a little 0.35 hook snoot and a 1.0 uh, BKK Super Slide Circle lack of fun but even the bite was like a small fish and then it steamed off well, once I hooked it, I thought it was a small fish it didn't have a best bite on it but it's fun and fun nonetheless in the pouring rain, eh huh, Zandre? <laughs> Not a lot of grass on my line Not that big fish, it's small <laughs> Small granted, took off like a good fish. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> They're just hiding here from the rain. <laughs> gonna stop down and we'll make another try. I don't want to get so soaking wet so we're sitting here under the tree. Not the biggest of tree but it's some protection from the rain. It's lacquer, it's summer, it's raining but it's warm. It's, I really enjoy it, it's lacquer. And it's good to have some rain. Phew, but it's pouring now. I like to keep my bail arm open when I'm fishing a drift bait 
just keep me light tension on it not for the prey to do as it please and run out but as soon as the grunter picks it up <coughs> I thought he's pulled it for a couple of meters and then I just flick my bail arm over and the circular will do its job the uh, sun is coming out, it's really lucky now this ultralight infinity weighs nothing in your hand really enjoyable hmm? See, there's a bite, it's going bail arm over <laughs> Get it. Monster! <laughs> Just Mikey. You know. It's really bad conditions that we're fishing in, guys. <laughs> the wind is howling. That's unfortunately all that we have for you guys this week. Um, yeah, the fishing hasn't been great. Weather patterns hasn't been great. And um, yeah, tried a little estuary session today. But um, the weather turned really bad now. The wind is howling. Is Andre? Yeah. Wind boy, uh, mm. is Andre is not too chuffed because um, yeah, it's the only day in the, in the wild that he had to fish with me. Only chance that he had. But, um, you know, fish didn't play along, weather didn't play along, and that's all that we can do. But if you are guys, hopefully I can catch a fish or two for you guys within the next week, and then we can have a lacquer video, video, a lacquer video next week. But you know, you know, nothing we can do about it. That's fishing, that's weather, that's nature. Um, end of the video. See you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs>